In this video, let me just uh, preface it and say I'm not a master race car craftsman. Uh, I kind of <laughs> am able to get by, hack through it all. So this is kind of going to give you a, a baseline, an idea, uh, one possibility of how you can do this. There's a lot of different other ways to, to do it. Um, check it out. See if uh, you can take some of the information and use it and maybe uh, check some other resources as well. Uh, if you have some good resources to share, uh, feel free uh, to post them in the comments and I'll add them to the description and so you can check that also. I used uh, quarter inch plexiglass, uh, sorry not plexiglass, Lexan. A lot of people use uh, can use eighth inch. Uh, I just happened to get a quarter inch thick uh, for my work. It was free. so. That's what I ended up using. That's also why it doesn't have the protective film on it when I was cutting it, um, because it was a uh, scrap material uh, that they found scratches on and were deemed was not usable for them, but it was usable for me. And so without further ado, here we go. Step one is to remove this rear window. So you can do that, you come in. On the back side, you can remove these two bolts right here. That holds this in. Uh, then you have to take this off. In order to do that, you have to pull this back. Remove this, uh, it's a 16 millimeter bolt, it comes off, you're able to take this panel out. All right, so now that this is off, we're gonna remove this lining here. Just pull this off. I have a benefit as you pull that away from the edge. And then this just pulls off as well. Um, now I have to remove these two bolts and then after we do that there's a 10 millimeter bolt here and there's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt underneath here and that is what will allow you to remove this window. Uh, these are T40 uh, bolts. So they come out, this slides out uh, and it shows you get the, oops, right down here there's a 10 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. Alright, now that the window's out like it just popped off from that. So you can see that the window covers up this section right here. There's some uh, weather stripping. This is double sticky taped on down at the bottom here. Uh, the weather stripping underneath, underneath here just pulls out. And that's that. So that exposes this lip. Now, now you got to determine how you want this window to sit. You can have it sit in the original position and you know even utilize these holes put maybe some rib nuts in here um, and mount the window all the way across though I don't you're not gonna have a it's not gonna be flush because there's gonna be a slight bow to it because uh, there's a step now the way I'm doing it is I'm gonna put it with within this realm right here so that's all personal preference so now what we got to do is cut the window to sh shape Probably gonna have to make a template of some sort. I already had one because I cut the other side, uh, but you're gonna use a jigsaw typically. I mean, you can use other saws as well because you're cutting arcs, you're gonna wanna use something in which you can cut an arc with. Now, you're gonna wanna get a, a blade that can cut plexiglass. This is for specifically for plexiglass. Uh, yes, we're cutting Lexan, but it's plastic. So, at least it's in the same philosophy. So, that's what I got. You can get that at Home Depot. Um, Make your template, cut it out, fit it. You want to cut it a little bit larger than what maybe what you're going to need in some spots, and then you're going to have to maybe shake it a little bit just to make sure it fits. Now that can be the trickiest part. So uh, I'm not sure I can give you much more help. Uh, you can use the other glass as a as a starting point. Um, I know that the glass did not go up as high as I wanted it to go. Uh, so I initially, I kind of drew it out a little bit larger, and then had to shape it, really uh, plane it down in order to get it to fit. And now this one, pretty much right out the gate, uh, fits pretty well. Now you're supposed to use, I think they call it an English plane. That'd probably be a little bit better. I'm using a, a rasp. Uh, it's a very rough uh, file, basically, to help uh, smooth out some of the edges and then bring it into the size that I need for it to fit. Here you can see it's mostly in. So I, I still you know, struggle with getting uh, completely flush so that it sits against this back lip here, uh, but it's fairly close. So now what I'm gonna do is there's a couple areas where, like right here, to file it down a little bit. Um, 
and then there's some we're rubbing up up at the top that I need to, to do as well. But, so what I'll do is I'll slowly finesse that in with that rasp that I showed you. Again, I have it going here, and then what I'm planning on doing is take a piece of vinyl tape, and I'm just gonna cover this section right here. All right, so now what I do is I'll drill a hole and put a rivet in, then do the same in another spot once the window is kind of in place. Uh, and then I'll slightly rivet them in to hold the window. Now my goal here, now usually there's a special tool that they use when they're fabricating that acts like a rivet where you stick it in and it's like a, and it, and it crimps it and holds it in place and then you can just take it out. But since I don't have that tool and I don't want to buy the tool because I don't use them that often, um, what I'm going to do is I'll have to take this, you know, finish uh, pulling this rivet until this, this thing pops off and then just drill it out. So. I'm, I'm drilling 3 8 inch holes, so I just, it's the same size, so I don't have to change drill bits, I just use the same drill bit and I'll just drill the, the rivet out real quick uh, and it pops out. So now I've, I've, now my, what I'm going to do, because I have this whole ceiling surface to use, is I'm going to put a, I'm going to pull these rivets out and then put like a, a sealer on it, and then I'm going to put the rivets back in, rivet them down to a little bit, uh, until it dries and I'll rivet the, the rest of the way. Now the only kind of hang up and it's a little janky is that getting under this lip right here you know you're gonna have to rivet kind of at the angle and this is gonna rub a little bit so it's not the, the, the smoothest install on these particular points here unless you want to remove this lip um, which I don't really know how to do without without breaking it so so that's the only downside about my particular install and then, so it's not super smooth, but I think uh, it's, it's only noticeable when you get up kind of close. Hard to do one-handed, but... So, that's how you drill the rivets out. It's not that hard. Now the rivet uh, body might still be in that hole. You'll have to punch that out a little bit. Uh, same with uh, up in here, and then of course you start collecting rivet heads. Kind of a small tip for deburring uh, the backs of these holes. I just use a, a larger drill bit. I just come in from the back side and kind of give it a little, uh, you know, center it, and then just, and then it takes off the the hanging burr there. Just FYI. So I put the rivets in just enough to kind of squish some of the sealant out let it set and then I'll finish it up uh, a little later after it's fully cured. Here's the final product. I think I might pull these off and do it again but I put a vinyl strip here basically and a vinyl strip along the bottom. Uh, there's a number of air bubbles that I, I think I could have avoided getting out. I've actually done the same thing on the side of the car here. Uh, this uh, side strip right here is uh, I pulled off and then replaced with a vinyl um, strip that I cut. And in fact you can kind of see the edge right there but from a distance you can't really notice it even with the car being really dirty I think I could do especially on the bottom here I think I could do a lot better you know obviously where there's uh, rivet heads it's not gonna you're, you're gonna get a bump but some of these other air bubbles I think I can get out from a distance it's not too bad <clears throat> helps cover some of the uh, the construction um, look there so that's pretty much it um, again I'm not the most skilled fabricator so if you have other ideas or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below if you have any helpful links uh, i can put those in the description as well so you know help other people out with some other ideas or a different approach to the same uh, situation if you like the video please give me a thumbs up i'd appreciate it if you want to check out some of my other videos i do some photography stuff and talk about some other car stuff uh feel free to subscribe i'd appreciate it and uh if you have any questions i'll try to answer them as best i can you can leave those in the comment section below along with any constructive criticism all right thank you very much